I scoured the internet and found some of Guerrilla Tech's coolest maps, with some being super realistic and others being really, really cool. And today I'm going to be testing all of them out. And after every single map that I play, I have to rate it 1 through 10 on the coolness level, the, the coolness factor. And before we start, make sure to click that button over there so I can get to 10k subscribers. Now let's go to the first map. Alright, so the first map is... A hike map? Huh? Now before I actually show you guys this map, you have to know the history of it. So the hike map was actually an unreleased map found in Gorilla Tag's files. That's basically everything you need to know about. Oh. And this is what it looks like. It's basically a huge map with just hills and uh, hills. And it's basically the name of it. It's just a hike. If Gorilla Tag were to actually release this, they would probably release it in the rotational map. Which I think would be really cool because just look at this. But it'd be probably cooler if they added more things to it so it's just not as boring like maybe some trees and stuff. But I'm gonna follow this trail and see where it leads. Wait, I forgot. I have mod. Oh, I'm turning speed boost up all the way. Speed on 10. And now we can go. Oh my. This is really fast, but it's still not fast enough to get me to where I need to go. But let's just turn on fly and just fly there. Is speed boost faster? It's on 10. Where is this leading? Oh, it's going up like a massive hill. It just stops at like this massive hill up here. What is Queso doing here? Why does this just look like the moon? So at the very, very top, it's just a flat land. And on the camera, it looks like I'm in space. This map is really cool since it is unreleased, but there's nothing really much to it. It's just like a giant hill. So I'll give this one a 5 out of 10 stars. And now let's go to the next map. And this one says it's a realistic cave. Why am I blue? What? This looks sick. It's literally just caves, but the textures are like realistic. Oh, they actually make noise. Wait, is mines over here? Oh my god, this is so weird. This is like the scuffed version of mine. Wait, but is the jar over here? Most likely not. What? Who is that? This looks like hay or something. There's nothing really else much to this map. Oh, I'm just through my controller. Other than the fact that it's like a really cool realistic map. I think the last map was a little cooler, so I'll give this one a 4 out of 10. And the next one is Super Monkey 64? Is that like a Mario map? Oh, it is! What? This is sick. Look at this. The trees like follow you. What? Wait, this is so cool. Wait, can, does the water work? Aw. Wait, what is that? There's a secret hole. I'm not gonna go in there yet because I want to see what's inside of this. There's just a door here. I wonder if I can open it. I guess I can. This is so cool. Look at this. This is a sick map. There's so many rooms. I don't know where to go. What is this room? I want to go to that random hole I found in the ground earlier. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, there's another one here. Is this, can I go in this one? No, it just blocks me off right here. I wonder if there's anything inside the waterfall. Oh, nope. I just fell off the map. This map is really cool. Definitely cooler than the last two maps we just looked at. And the next one is Giant Forest. Now, I've played in this one before in other videos. Why are they combining? Uh, don't mind the two forests clashing together. Oh, uh, what I was gonna say is I've played in this one before in other videos, but it's basically just a giant forest map. As you can see, there's multiple double walls, like, everywhere. And forest is just, like, ten times its regular size. And this will be an insane map to do branching routes in. You can just go on forever. There's nothing really much to say about this map other than the fact that it's a giant forest map. So I'll give this one a 5 out of 10. What is happening? The last and final map has to be the coolest one by far. When I first saw it, when I was downloading it, it looked insane. And it's called a photorealistic skate park. And it's basically made for hide and seek. But today I'm just gonna check it out and see how cool it is. Oh, almost just the map. Oh my god. I don't know if you're seeing this, but look, this looks like real life. Except I'm sized down like 10 freaking feet. Like look at this place. This looks like a like an actual place you could go to. You probably can. Stop the train. Or, I, I can't read! This map would be so much cooler if you could actually have a skateboard in here. Even the skybox looks real too. The textures in here are insane. Guys, let me know if I should do a hide and seek video on this map. Look at this. This has to be the coolest one we've seen by far. Chat, should I go here in real life? This still doesn't feel real. It just feels like I'm walking somewhere in real life. Is this the ice cream truck? Can I go in here? Oh, I can. Oh, this is glitched. Now I need to find out how to get back to where I was because I have no clue how to get back to forest. Like I said earlier, this map would be so much cooler if you actually had a skateboard cosmetic. Comment down below your favorite map in the comments. And other than that, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe so I can get to 10k. And I'll see you in other videos. Bye, guys.